Cool, so my name's Imran um, from Gorilla House. Um, Kate uh, called us in to transform this space. The original brief was to transform it into a, an indoor forest type space. Um, so what we did was we custom made these plant boxes and they're very specific wicking type system. Um, I can take you through it. So all that it is, is you've got your container, we've got up until this point over here, it's completely sealed. Um, in this case we use the plastic, uh, a pond uh, HDPE plastic, and what happens is um, you pour water in this pipe, so this pipe goes all the way to the bottom, Yeah, this then fills up with water, so that's your water reservoir. And once it reaches the overflow line and water starts to come out of here, you know that your reservoir, reservoir is full. Yeah. And then once the plants are established so the roots are going just deep enough, they will start to pull water up from the reservoir from the earth. And um, this system in general uses about 80% less water than like a standard potting system or even in the ground. Yeah. So this is also a wicking planter box. Um, Kate had this wine barrel previously. And all we did was we sanded it up and we sealed it and then the bottom half again about maybe about 10 centimeters we sealed completely we tried to make it um, waterproof and this one the planters on that side we used plastic this one we used um, bitumen which is a rubberized sealer um, and a geofabric um, membrane yeah so same system overflows over here and you water down through the inlet pipe on the top yeah in this box and that box we've got perennials so herbs and fruit trees this is a lemon yeah um, but with the system as well we also tried out this air pruning technique so you'll see this little bag over here this is a an air prune grow bag yeah so it's a fabric um, bag and what it does is as the roots start to hit the edge of this bag it comes into contact with air so in between all the stones is there's air pockets yeah so as soon as it comes into contact with air it, it self prunes it kind of chops itself and that stimulates growth it stresses the plant but just enough for for growth rather than um distraction yeah it doesn't over stress it um so that's apparently air pruning improves production improves the health of the plant um and we went for the system for this tree because often with trees and perennials in planters um, you've got to once a year once every two years take it out and repot it so basically chop the roots otherwise it's going to grow like this and start to choke itself out yeah cool so in total we've got about three planters um, and a fourth circular wine barrel and in the planters we've got over here a sage we've got globe artichoke we've got a type of um, this is scabiosis like a, almost like a pelagonium a very nice smelling, uh, a very medicinal. We've got thyme, so culinary. We've got marjoram, which Kate had ready, and then we've got a spearmint. Um, Vanadilla to climb, another globe artichoke. On this side, we have a malva, which Kate had already. We've got a pimple, very medicinal. It can kind of dangle over the edge once it gets thick. We've got yarrow. So very very medicinal and it's also a fertility plant. It mines nutrients from deep in the soil and makes it available on the surface when the leaves die. Yeah, it's very medicinal. And then in the veggie boxes we've got these are leeks, front line, got a line of lettuce, we've got spinach, we've got beetroots, and then we've got a type of kale, and then looks like we just mixed in was excess on the, at the back. It's got celery and marigolds. Yeah. And it's on wheels. And it's on wheels to make it easier. This is the first time we've put it on wheels and it's so so much easier because these things are heavy, very heavy. <laughs> also we also connected up a rain tank so we calculated the amount of rainfall that would fall on the roof. So if you look up this side we connected that roof um, and that also it takes water from the main house, half of the roof from the main house and we connected it down this way and we connected it to this roof as well and then that goes down into the tank yeah. and 
you see it that in one vein for the penis vein it's pulled up to the tank for the penis. Yeah. So with the tank thing we also will set the foundations for that. That's also connected a tank um, which goes on automatically whenever you just open the switch or the valve. And that then also connects here. And that also connects into the washing machine um, when it does the washing. Yeah, so we also put up these trellises, um, and eventually once the granadilla and this guy takes over, it's going to be fully vegetated and have that forest effect, um, that little indoor forest effect, and we also attach some outdoor lights, just for some ambience and some mood. And this is what they look like at night time.